What's up guys, Kevin here, back with another video. I am here to talk about uh, one of the most exciting Adidas projects uh, of this past year. Uh, today I'm gonna be talking about the Sean Watherspoon Gazelles, specifically the Hemp Gazelle, the Hemp Green Gazelle that just came out. Uh, this was released um, mid-November. Uh, there was some exclusive access that came out that had it released a little bit earlier, like early November, but this is the second, I think second release that had like a bigger global release. The first one was that multicolored one where uh, like each panel was cut differently so that there was basically like every single pair was like a one of one. This pair is the second one that released. They also had um, a partnership with Milo Leather, which is a mushroom leather pair. Uh, that one was a one of 200, if I remember correctly. And that was a US exclusive, um, no other, third party, um, you know, like places got them. But today I'm gonna to be talking about one that's the most widely available as well as what I think is the best pair of the entire collection. So um, let's talk about the box really quick, talk about the shoes as well as the story. So Sean Watherspoon, Adidas Gazelle. Um, he showed off a few samples with the orange tab. This one has a magenta one or I guess like a, almost like a burgundy one. The box is like all the other ones. Opening up the box, it includes, I believe this is also hemp, almost like a uh, dust bag slash sack. Really, really cool, cool earth print with the S. Um, it included one extra pair of laces, which is this burgundy hemp looking color. She was constructed with an all over hemp on the outer. Very, very cool embroidery uh, detail, stitching detail, where I think it really does highlight the different sort of almost panels of the shoe. I really like this triangle detail here. On the back tab, it says hemp. So I believe Sean Rotherspoon said that his sneakers are the, I think the only fully vegan shoes that includes the sole as well as the glue so i thought that was really cool he is big on sustainability uh like veganism vegetarianism um etc and that translates into his products so the laces i thought the texture of them were really interesting they're like a very very uh low gauge porous hemp material where it still feels really nice but the thread count seems kind of low but the threads also seem quite thick not sure if you guys can see that. Um, the tongue, standard gazelle tongue. The insole has a layer of thin cork on the inside. No special foam or special padding on this one. Um, I really do like that translucent detail so that the stripes kind of bleed over to the side. Synthetic uh, leather as well, SW. And again, I believe the samples had the back panel as orange as well as the samples did not have this little hemp thing personally i think this little hemp thing should have gone maybe here or something like that or in the middle or something like that i feel like that would have been really cool although i do like this triangle detail being the center focus of it yeah and again i think this is one of the best adidas uh releases this past year i think he's done a very wonderful job he's been teasing this for a while and i think this truly is one of the coolest sneakers that is very, very wearable. That's one of the things where a sneaker can be cool, but not super wearable outside of like a few special occasion type of moments. Um, but I think this strikes a balance where it's like, it's cool, it's unique, and he has his own like character to it. I mean, it also does help that it is a very sustainable and uses new materials etc so his main idea i believe a few years back right after the superstar they started doing development and in an interview in hypebeast they were originally supposed to do a samba but unfortunately that got sort of canned um and then adidas said is there any other shoe that you want to do and then he said the gazelle and then he realized soon after that gucci was going to do a collaboration with the gazelle and then soon after that he was like for sure like sign me up 
Um, so I think the Gazelle really is one of the unsung hero products that are in um, the Adidas catalog. I think it has the same capability and same superstar power that both the Superstar as well as the Sambas have. But I think this one is just a little bit understated. So the thing with Sean is that I think post his Air Max 97 slash 1, um, he hasn't really had that many hits. I believe that his ASICS product um, was essentially trying to recreate that same feeling as the 97 one, but it just doesn't work as well with um, the Gel Light 3. That's a completely different design language, different model in entirety. Um, I also think that his early Adidas products, they just didn't speak to me, especially like the Superstar. Um, they really just weren't super impactful for me. But I do feel like that his Gazelle models as soon as I saw this pictured on the confirmed app, I was like, yo, this is this is the best one. And I think they knew that too, because of course they released it towards the end of the year, towards uh, when everyone's making their sneaker of the year to get some recency bias, um, as well as uh, put more effort into this being more widely released. So I really do think that this is the best model from his Gazelle uh, line, I should say. What do you guys think about the Adidas Gazelle more specifically, uh, the Sean Watherspoon or the Gazelle in general. Uh, do you guys like it? Do you guys not really like it compared to some of the other uh, heritage um, Adidas models like the Samba, uh, the Superstar? So like, let me know what you guys think. Uh, how I personally would rock this is just a black pair of trousers and let the shoes be, be doing all the talking because I think this is a very wild uh, pair of shoes on such an understated silhouette. So I think it kind of strikes that balance. Um, I could also see this easily being worn with just a pair of jeans, just a clean pair of denim because the gum sole I think would work really well on this. Uh, so yeah, I also prefer the white lace or if they, I can do like a lace swap with like a pair of cream laces, um, I would prefer that instead of the red laces. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna do an on foot and I would recommend, for those of you who stuck around, I'd recommend going true to size. Um, this fits. Very, very slightly roomy, but not roomy enough for me to go down half a size. So I would recommend going true to size. So yeah, thank you guys again for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.